ABC News Sunday, I'm Paul Higgins. Victoria's state of emergency has been extended for another month as the surge in coronavirus cases continues. The state recorded 19 new cases. That's the fifth day in a row of double-digit increases. Ten of those were community transmission. And more schools have been closed, including St Mary's Primary School in Melbourne's Bayside, after a Grade 3 student tested positive. Police are planning to step up enforcing re uh, restrictions on group gatherings, especially in areas deemed as hotspots. And the work from home rule will stay in place at least until the end of July. As Amelia Turzon reports, the surge in Victorian cases has become a cause for concern across the country. The emergency is far from over in Victoria. This morning uh, I have extended the state of emergency. Clusters of cases linked to family outbreaks around Melbourne are still growing. We are seeing uh, the spread of this virus amongst extended family members, uh, to grandparents, to grandchildren, uh, children taking that to, uh, to, to school. This is a tipping point uh, and we need to bear that in mind. With a second wave at risk, the state is cracking down again. People should be in no doubt that this is now again serious and we all have a role to play and that police will take this seriously and will breach people, will find people. The renewed police crackdown will focus on the hotspot suburbs with high cases, but everybody is being urged to report on those flouting social distancing rules. It's not dobbing in. It's doing the right thing. This sort of idea that people can pretend they're only in groups of 10 and there's like a 1,000, that will be taken very seriously. But the clampdown has thrown many businesses into chaos, just as they were about to reopen again. It's very upsetting at the moment. I've just got to, you know, woke up this morning and shed a few tears, but, you know, what can we do? Some gyms, galleries and cinemas are still reopening for the first time in months tomorrow, but now to just 20 people. The way that I've approached this situation is just to remain fluid and to accept that things are constantly going to shift. The crackdown on crowds here in Victoria comes as other states are lifting restrictions. Queensland is even preparing to welcome back 10,000 people to footy matches from next weekend, but it's not inviting Melbournians unless they self-isolate first. All of Greater Melbourne is now considered a hotspot from the perspective of Queensland Health. Western Australia has also raised concerns. There's community spread, there's community outbreaks. Uh, they don't have it under control. Australia's response to the coronavirus outbreak has been world leading, but its long-term success is now increasingly in the hands of one state. Amelia Turzon, ABC News, Melbourne.